Welcome back. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to do a video today on um, a topic that I really hadn't considered, um, but really is a, an important part of the process. Um, I've done a video on uh, PSD, Prime Student Driver, which is if you're coming to Prime to get your CDL, that is uh, what Prime calls its CDL training program, is the uh, PSD program. And I've done uh, videos on TNT, which is uh, Prime's on-the-job training, if you will, after you have your CDL, whether you get it through Prime, whether you come to Prime with a CDL um, from an outside school, whether you have it, maybe you've let, uh, um, let your experience lapse, they may require some additional training, uh, training, and Prime goes through what's called TNT, which is trainer and trainee. And so it's kind of an on-the-job trainer uh, training program. It might be a refresher course for some of you, and it varies. Um, it may be, you know, a week. It may be a month. It may be thirty thousand miles. It may be forty thousand miles. Um, it it kind of all depends on you, um, what you come to Prime with, whether you come to Prime with no CDL, um, whatever. So anyway, I've covered PSD. I've covered TNT. I've also covered upgrading which is what Prime calls, okay, you've graduated, you've finished everything, and now we're gonna get you your own truck. It was brought up to me by uh, a viewer, and thank you to everybody for watching, that I haven't ever really covered the new driver. And what, what I mean by that is, um, you, you come to this point where you've gone through all this training, whether it's at Prime, whether it's through an outside company. Um, you show up and you have your own truck. You've upgraded. You are pulling out of the outbound bay in Springfield or Salt Lake City or, or Pittston um, because they do upgrades at, at both of those locations as well. Now what? Um, it can be, you know, you learn a ton of stuff during the however long you're in training, but it can be somewhat intimidating, and it can also be, okay, I've learned all that stuff, but I've also had a, a bit of a crutch. I've had a trainer who, you know, if your trainer is smart, what they will have done at least once, and hopefully a couple of times, is let you run the truck as if they aren't even there. Um, you know, obviously they're, they're probably gonna drive their miles, you're gonna drive your miles, and, and if you don't know, TNT, if you haven't watched those videos, is team driving for the most part, meaning you're running 24 hours a day. But what I mean, run your truck, run the truck in the trainer and trainee phase, it means you are going to be responsible for trip planning. You are going to be responsible for where are we getting fuel, figuring out um, how do we get to a shipper, how do we get to a receiver, are we going to be on time, are we running late because of various things, traffic, accidents, weather. What do you do in those scenarios? When you get to a shipper, when you get to a receiver, how does that work? If you're lucky, um, and in tanker at Prime, uh, odds are very good that you're going to end up going to a place that you have been multiple times um, during training as your first shipper. Now, your receiver, that's a different story altogether. Um, you're probably going to go somewhere you haven't been before. But how do you handle that? And again, when you're on your own, it is up to you. Um, I've talked about it before, and when you're on your own, and I, I know I've mentioned my little green notebook, you get a pickup location, date and time, a pickup number, and a drop-off location, date and time. And then, for me, I write down you know, the trip number, the trailer it's on, and how much I'm getting paid for it. But when you're on your own, and all you're given is 
I have to pick up in Decatur, Indiana on November 10th at 11.50 p.m., and I have to be in Cincinnati, Ohio on November 11th at 11 a.m. How do I get to Decatur? Where in Decatur am I going? How does it work when I get there? Where do I get the pay? You know, I have my pickup number. You know, I mentioned you have the pickup number for a pickup. Where do I get the paperwork that's going to tell me what trailer I'm picking up? Is this a preloaded trailer? Is this not a preloaded trailer? I know I've mentioned before Decatur is all preloaded trailers. But maybe you don't know that. Maybe you've never in your training been to Decatur, Indiana. What do you do now? <laughs> what do you do when you get to Cincinnati? Where are you going in Cincinnati? How do you find out where you're going? Like I said, it can be very intimidating. Um, and one of the reasons that this was brought up, um, yes, you should have covered almost all of this stuff during training, but it's like anything. You go through something in training, you've got somebody there to hold your hand. And no, I don't mean literally hold your hand, but you've got a trainer to walk you through the process. Explain how these things work. When you forget a step, there's somebody sitting either in the seat next to you or in the bunk behind you who you can say, hey, I forgot this, what do I do now? Your only connection once you upgrade and have your own truck is the computer which has the Qualcomm, which has a messaging system which connects you back to your dispatch or your fleet manager, and your phone, where you can call your fleet manager or your dispatcher. And fleet managers and dispatchers, and I, I, I don't mean this to be a scare video, to say you're going to flip out and you're not going to be able to handle anything. It's a video that just says, hey, just keep in mind, um, Everything you've learned during training, it's all going to be on you. Uh, but there is a support system. Mention the Qualcomm. There's a phone number for your fleet manager. Your fleet manager understands when you are first out, especially your first week, your first month. Um, you're going to be calling more often. I've been doing this almost three years now. I don't call my fleet manager very often. Um, so... You know, for things like that, I, the reason that I contact my fleet manager is, hey, there's an accident up ahead, I'm going to be delayed. I might not make it on time. Um, hey, I want to take the weekend off. That's why I contact my fleet manager. Not, how do I get here? What, you know, what do I do in this situation? I contact my fleet manager, my trailer tire blew out. I'm on the side of the road, I'm going to be here a while. Probably not going to make the customer on time. That's why I contact my fleet manager. When you're new, you might contact the fleet manager and say, I have to pick up in Decatur. I've never been there. How does that work? And like I said, they understand when you're a new driver, that's going to happen. Two other ways that I want to stress. And one thing I wish Social media is wonderful. It's the way you're watching me right now. YouTube is fantastic that I can pass information along. Um, I know I've said before the reason that I do this. Um, I run a lightweight truck. One twin bed. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to have somebody in there. <laughs> I'm not sharing a bed with anybody. Uh, my wife comes along with me every now and then, but that's about it. Um, not sharing a truck uh, as a trainer. Um so this is how I share my knowledge. Um, I wish there were more guys who were, rather than grabbing their phone and videotaping a guy struggling to back in somewhere, um, I wish there were more guys who would hop out of their truck and, and help somebody back in. But I will say, and I've said this before, one of the things I really love about Prime, Prime is a large company. You have all the benefits of a large company. Working in the tanker division, you have the benefits of a small company. Um, everybody in tanker knows who I am. I know who everybody in the office in tanker is. My fleet manager knows me. You know, my phone number pops up. It's not like she has a hundred plus drivers. She knows my number when it pops up. 
and she knows that it's me. Um, so there's a familiarity there. Um, and that you don't necessarily get on the reefer side. Um, the guys in the tanker division at Prime, for the most part, and I'm not going to make unequivocal statements that everybody's a, a great guy, and I'm not going to say that everybody's a jerk either. <laughs> We've got some of everybody at uh, uh, in the company. But my point is, if you need help, ask a Prime driver if you see a Prime driver. Um, most of them are more than willing to help out because they were there at some point. It may have been a year ago, it may have been five years ago, it may have been 20 years ago, but all of them at some point were on their first load. The second thing I'll mention uh, that is, and I know I've talked about it before, is on Facebook, uh, the Prime Tanker Yankers group. Same thing there. Um, we do have a tendency to get guys say things uh, about new drivers and how were, who trained you and why were you trained that way. Um, but for the most part, um, we're a helpful bunch. Um, and it, again, it can be very intimidating. You went from having that helping hand sitting right next to you to you're in charge of an 80,000 pound vehicle all by your lonesome driving down the road. So um, it can be intimidating, but if you've made it through that process, it's a very, very good feeling. I'll tell you what, first time you drive through Outbound by yourself um, in a truck and trailer that's your truck and trailer uh, is one of the more rewarding feelings um, that I can remember having. So I wanted to do this video again. It's a little bit different. It's not what's PSD about, what's TNT about, what's upgrading about, uh, what's orientation about. It's what happens after all of that when you finally get your own truck. You put in a lot of time and effort. It's like graduation. And hey, you're out here trying to make some money. Um, there is that understanding that mistakes can cost you money, can cost you injuries, all that stuff. Um, but it can be a very rewarding feeling that you've made it through that long process um, and again take advantage of the opportunities use your resources and I know I've talked about that with trip planning use the resources that are available to you hope you enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching we'll talk to you again next time